What's going on, citizens of the G-verse? Well, if you're here, you're a citizen. It just happens. Uh, the title of this joint is, Why isn't your business making any money? Or, Why isn't your business making enough money? Very, very interesting thing. Uh, with my course of 30 days to 2500 bucks, which is free, links below. Um, link for everything that I'm about to talk about is below. Just look for it. Click that box and expand. A lot of people are getting some amazing benefits, so it's kind of, let's put it this way, uh, this is 30 days, 2500 bucks, it is beta, it's exceeding my expectations, I actually had to, it got so hot, I had to take a two day break, we jump off again tomorrow, 4pm, a lot of things are going on with that, I decided to join the fray, because I'm currently working on three books right now, I just, yeah, three, there was two, and now, like, I just threw another one in there. The whole thing about 30 days, 2500 bucks is challenging yourself and moving yourself forward. Which brings up the new book, Hustle Nomics, which has been on my to-do list for two years. Because the concepts here, it's already, I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. So that's going to happen, and I'm making, this is once, just, you know, what I'm telling the people to do, I'm doing the same thing. I decided to do this today. I had sketched out the outline today, and I actually put the, the cover together today, and I actually put it out and emailed it. Same thing I'm telling you to do, I'm doing it myself because it works. And, you know, if I put it out there and a bunch of people go, Oh, that really stinks. Oh, good lord. Mm. You know, it's just trial and error. Wild as hell. It's going to be wild as hell. I'm very excited about that. Back to you. Why is it your business making any money or why is it making no money? I know it's going to sound very impolite. It's going to sound even a little crazy. The reason is you haven't decided that you wanted to make money. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, yo, yo. What, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? Every day I go out there and I talk to customers. I'm online. I'm tweeting. I'm Facebooking. I'm asking people for referrals. What the hell do you mean that I have not decided to make any money? Well, how much money you want to make this year? You know, the you even said on your go sheet. There is a world of difference between business activity and business productivity. One of the reasons that I got rid of my blog was I didn't need it. When you are doing the analysis of your business, you, if you know what's the heartbeat of your business, you know what makes money for your business and you know what doesn't. If you go ahead and just Pop that piece of your business out that doesn't make any money. You free up your time to you know, go home and pet Boo Boo the cat or actually take that energy and effort and apply it to a different part of your business to make your business more money. If you're not making any money, you have not decided to make money. Huh? <gasps> Crazy, but I see it all the time. Because this is the thing. And there's this chapter you're going to love in Hustle Nomics called Why You're a Dumbass and It's Not Your Fault. It's cultural indoctrination. Like, I got a lot of pushback on what I said the other day about not owning a house and not wanting to own a house. It's like, home ownership is good. Really? Who told you that? Where'd you get that from? If you've ever watched the matriculation of the average homeowner with kids, what do they do? They buy a first home, sometimes a second home, sometimes a third home. Then they stay there, and then the kids are grown, and what do they do? They sell everything, then they move down to a condo, which is pretty much the equivalent size of what they started off with. <laughs> I've seen this too many times. And I'm like, who said that? Um, who who made that decision? Essentially, like in Earl Nightingale's talking about, there's this thing where he talks about, you know, it would be one thing if people were following the leader, but people are following the follower. And that's where that comes from, because if you do the math, sometimes it doesn't make sense for you to have a house. Just depending on where you are, what you're doing, it doesn't make sense. But once again, like the degree myth, well, everyone needs a degree. No, the shit they don't. But once again, that's common thought. That's part of cultural indoctrination saying that you should do this. And if you don't do it, even if it doesn't make any sense, you're going to get an incredible amount of blowback. Until one day, the empirical evidence comes together. Da 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 da. -da.
the big penis in the sky has got you. Next thing you know, your tender hind parts are like in fiery pain and you're like, what the hell happened? Because there are lies and there's truth. Uh, the truth of the matter is if a tire hits the road at a certain amount of speed, your car will propel forward. That's truth. It's proven. It's scientific fact. The fact that everyone needs a degree and everyone needs a house has not been proven. But many people believe it with the same principle of that tire hitting the road and rotating forward at a certain velocity to produce for propels to propel your vehicle forward. That's mathematical fact. That, that's the scientific concepts. They'll never change. If they change, that means gravity has really done something kind of different and we are all screwed. But essentially, you haven't made that firm decision to make money. Every day, you should write out an income goal for your business. I don't care if it's brand new. I don't care if your income goal is 25 bucks. I don't care if it's 50 bucks. Whatever. You need a goal because it's going to provide direction and it's going to orientate, orientate this stuff. It's going to make this go percolate and move you in the right direction. And when you start doing this, will you hit your numerical goals? No. You won't because it's brand new to you. But when you do start doing it and you're consistent, one day you're going to look at that goal sheet and you're going to see that you hit it. And one day you're going to look at it and you see that you exceeded it. And at that point, you need to move your goals up. That's what you need to do. So the reason your business, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason your business isn't making any money or not enough money, you have not decided to make money. You've decided to create a business. You've decided to incorporate. You've decided to do all of these business activities that make you look good because it's like, okay, my girl, she got the incorporation. She's got a sign on her car. Doing all of this stuff that does not get to the core of what a business does. Solve problems, serve customers, make products, whatever. That, that, that place where the rubber meets the road, which is interacting with customers to make money. Doing all of this stuff to avoid that. <laughs> happens all of the time all of the funny because if you make those decisions and you create those goals and you create those metrics you'll be driven to a point where you will make money all right so that's the deal be sure to sign up for hustle nomics it's going to be a wild ass ride uh 2014 is going to be crazy it's going to be crazy really really is so just go ahead and hit that once again all of the links are below and you know i'm i'm, I'm pushing i'm really really pushing subscribe to the youtube channel Subscribe to Hustle Nomics. Get your free copy of The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success, and sign up for 30 days to 2,500 bucks. There's a lot of free stuff. So, yeah, I'm saying you. Yeah, you. Give up to two bucks. Two bucks a month is going to take me about three months, if that long. I might do it in a month, just depending, because I'm zooted. And, uh, Let's make the world go round. Let's uh, change the world. Let's do some things differently because if you change you, you change your world. All right, this is Glendon, and I'll see you on the good side.